What's up everybody, it's Dude Nim Marie right back in the building Bringing you the latest in the news, hip hop, sports and entertainment And rap icon and a hip hop pioneer Russell Simmons seems like he done bit off more than he can chew everybody As his ex-wife, Kamora Lee Simmons Has been exposing him as basically being the deadbeat Not being in the, the kids life and everything She dropping receipts and she also dropped muted audio a muted video of him going in on one and she responded now we go get into the video clips and i give y'all my commentary in the end please that um so you guys know my kids my kids have worked at the un my kids are ambassadors of the world my kids speak multiple languages like i said my youngest daughter is the youngest kid to graduate in modern his recent history from an Ivy League school. You know, I'm a little upset, so I know I'm probably rambling and leaving out parts and jumping all over the place. I'm sorry, y'all can hang up, I love you. you. I know everybody's gonna be calling me later. But you all know that for sure that my kids are not brainwashed. So I thought that was crazy that people actually started to believe that because I could see the messages and the comments and, oh, sorry. And sometimes people just wanna have something to say and I understand that too. So today, the whole topic, and I thought about people, all my friends in the industry and who I could call and what media people I could talk to about this and who do I go to talk about this? And I thought about this all the time, but I never really have, you know, the right person and it's never really come to me. So I just thought I'd turn on my thing here and say this, but for someone to imply that my kids are brainwashed uh, because they honored um, the job or the duty that their mom fulfills on a daily basis, 365 days of the year, 24 seven is crazy. No one's brainwashed. You guys can go and see, you know, no one's delusional. Um, hold on one second. Wolfie, yeah. I love you. What are you doing? You, 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 are you trying to play in here with mom? Okay, but I, can I just do this little quick interview and then you can come right back? Can I? Okay, only because I don't want to just Okay, I love you. Okay, I love that. Come back, okay? So, let me just read my comments. Look at my crazy big movie screen, you guys. That's actually a movie screen. It's huge. It's like the biggest one. One of the biggest ones I could find. And it has a direct throw projector, so that projector shoots right up to that screen. It's super close. Anyway, <clears throat> we're not going to get into all of our tech gadgets, but what was I saying? So, you all know that my um, kids are not brainwashed. Uh, those of you that know me here also know... Um, what kind of parent I am. I have been a parent pretty much all my life. I was a very young, um, probably too young uh, bride. So I had these kids very early. And you guys know how much my family means to me and you know how much my kids mean to me. And you guys know, all of you that know me, absolutely know what kind of... Um, mother I am and what kind of family dynamic I have over here. Um, I think it's very important for you all to know um, if you look back in our history, I have always been the type of co-parent, you know, we were actually very famous for our co-parenting abilities and, you know, how we always put the good face forward and the good foot forward to the world. So you guys know that. If you pay attention to the time frame um, of things, you will see that some years ago, recently, um, this ex in question uh, brought a lawsuit against me and my and my family. Um, a completely frivolous lawsuit um, where he accused me of all kinds of crazy stuff like um, crazy stuff like embezzling, you know, laundering, defrauding, all these things. Again, everybody that knows me knows that nothing could be like further from the truth. Clearly, I'm sitting right here in my home, right? There's no, you know, none of that. I didn't flee the country. I don't run. I don't have to hide from anybody. I didn't commit any uh, atrocities that I need to answer for, you know, here or in the next life at the gates, wherever I'm going to get. I don't have to do that like some other people. So if you pay attention to, excuse me, I'm a little emotional. I get like that. So my kids, so sorry about that. But if you pay attention to when this lawsuit was launched, it's probably like a couple years ago, you'll notice that that's when all of these attacks started coming from my ex. You'll notice that that's when um, a lot of, a barrage of crap started coming over here to us. Um, you'll notice that the uh, kids stopped kind of, over the past years, they stopped kind of uh, seeing their dad as much. And also, again, I have five kids, so I've always been like, you know, an open book. We, all my other kids consider 
let me turn to my consider Russell to be um considered him to be at one point in time like an uncle we were all very close um and that goes for all my baby dads by the way there's evidence of that you can see them you know on various far and few between events but you can see them sometimes like on the red carpet and you'll see one person with all the kids right we get along like a family like friends like whatever so you'll notice that all of this down talking and all of this stuff started to take a turn around these past couple of years I think coinciding with that lawsuit but I just want to come and say you know and I never get into this I usually let people go and rant and rave it's funny though how this particular person in question because I could go in on a, a few of them one by one um, but it's funny how this particular person if you again go look back You'll see on their page that they post all these pictures like we're together, like we're friends. They've even posted pictures and then said like, I just got off the phone with my kids. They sent me this great picture. None of that's true. I like receipts. So of course I have text messages. I have messages from all my kids. You know, you can go and see. I think the bottom line, like probably the breaking point for all of this was uh, over the past many months um, when their dad just sort of cut them off. Um, he was contributing a little bit of cash to their like monthly, you know, college spending, not much, a couple hundred dollars, probably maybe $500, maybe a little more. Again, all these things can be, you know, proven with receipts. I, I love receipts. So folks can always go and get receipts and show over the years. Um, um, and so one day he just kind of cut the kids off. There was no more money coming in, no more like allowance, quote unquote allowance. I think he probably did that just to double up the expenses on me, which is no problem. I stepped up. I did it. But when he did this, it was around um, just before finals and graduation. It was some months ago, just before finals and graduation. And he did it without telling the kids or talking to the kids or anything. He did it. It's funny. After he did an interview with. Um, I heard some clips from an interview with uh, this young man. I don't know. I see him a lot. I think his name is Academic or DJ Academic. Oh, happy Juneteenth, you guys. We're doing all this on Juneteenth. Come on, let it go. Let it out. Um, so I saw in that clip, that was some months ago too. You can go and reference it and find it, where he told this guy, he was on and on about this guy. And I think it was about old school hip hop heads and how you should honor them, which I believe you should. Um, but he was saying to the guy, like, I'm so rich. I got this and I got that. And I'm this and that. None of that could be further from the truth. You know, he has turned around. And then again, I have records and evidence of this where he's told the kids in writing. We have it, text messages. I'm broke. I this, I that. I can't, you know, go get it from your mom. Now, meanwhile, I have been financially carrying this person probably for the last at least 10 years. Myself and my ex-husband. Again, this is all proven with receipts. So if whatever somebody doesn't like what I'm saying, you know, we can talk about it. We can come. We can open up our receipts. I, I love it. I love receipts. Um, but I've taken care of this person to the tune of many, many, many millions of dollars to help with their bills, their overhead, their companies that they run into the ground, their unsuccessful bids, all of their stuff. Um, I don't necessarily speak for my kids, but I think I could take probably a good shot at it. They're sleeping right now because it's not even 830 in the morning. But my two oldest girls, they're young women. They're young women of the world. Um... I think that was a very that was very tough for them that their dad like kind of cut them off and cut off conversation and cut off trying helping them and he's even said things to them like why did you go to college you shouldn't have gone to college you wasted that money you could have saved it while I'm up here trying to hustle the kids over the finish line you know it uh, that was crazy it's just been so many things that kind of negate what I'm trying to do over here in my house again like I live in Beverly Hills California you know I go between New York and LA people know how to find me they know how to see me I see people walking up and down the street all day every day um, I'm just not going to tolerate this from someone who's not on the streets walking around every day. Um, they are like, I don't know, apparently like hiding under a rock someplace far away in another country. You know, again, these girls are adults. They are young adults. Um, I typically try to be very friendly and amicable with all my baby daddies, whatever. But I think it comes a time when you guys have to ask yourself, why are these women, young women, um, not supportive or not really trying to hear that or what have they gone through what have they seen that they you know that has turned them off or that has put a, a bad taste in their mouth you know we've seen a lot lately over the years and I have literally stood by these people and this man all my life um and I just get so emotional when someone tries to attack my 
parenting or my family or my kids that have tried so hard, you know, you can see all the press that we've done, all the interviews that we've done. I mean, it's a community thing. These kids graduating from high school, I'm in college, high school too. And all my friends, you know, I say the same thing. It's every person knows here that has had graduates. I graduated from college only just recently in the past like five years. It's tough. You know, they're teenagers developing into young adults now. They have lived their whole life in the public eye, which I guess is a good thing and a bad thing because it's good because you know my kids, you know my family, you know? And so I hope that uh, the public can kind of decipher some of these things and some of this, you know, bullshit. But it's also bad because you grow up and again, your stuff is in the public eye. You don't get to like, you don't get to handle things that, privately and discreetly like other people may have a chance that are not in the public eye so I'm very touched and emotional I become very emotional people always say Kamora you're such a boss you're such a leader but you're so emotional I am now one thing we do know is that these two were one time married they had kids together and at one point in time they was in love now things have changed now whatever he had said that we couldn't hear Whatever he said really got to her and it's really affecting her emotionally and it's also affecting the kids. Now, one thing we are not finna do is try to get all in their business, all in their business. But one thing we love though is to like for y'all to let us know in the comment box below what y'all think about this situation. And if this is your first time to our channel and if you love any parts of our content and our videos, please hit that subscribe button we will appreciate your subscription. This dude, I'm in the building. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Yeah.